Welcome over to race number 23 of the NR2003 PMU Cup Series here at Nashville. And this is it. This is the first race in the playoffs. The first ever round in the playoffs. As we have now determined the, the top 16 drivers that will advance on to the playoffs. And as a result, let's show you all the drivers that will be advancing on to the playoffs. And as you can see right now, Owen Scott is now is now in the top uh, lead of the table. Currently in the top of the table, um, having won four impressive wins so far this season. In the 17 car, so he's currently in first place in the in the playoffs. Drew Walker, the retiring driver, the retiring champion, right behind Owen Scott in the in in second place. And uh, behind Drew Walker is quite almost as impressive. Nicholas Wright, he won his first ever races, his first couple of races ever in his career. Which led him to advance on to the chase, obviously. He, he, he's in third place right now. In that uh, Furry Row Motorsports car. The, 90, the 95 car. And Zachary Rike. Guess, guess we are expecting the unlikeliness as well. For a rookie to make it on to the chase. The playoffs, I mean. And that is Zachary VK. He is currently fourth place in Rain and Army. Don't know how long since since she's ever been in the playoffs, or at least been a contender for a title. But uh, Rainanami is here in the table in fifth place for SLR, and uh, Roberto Crown Jr. also advancing onto the chase. He has been racing since season two, so could this be perhaps finally a chance? For Roberto Crown Jr. to at least take the crown for um, for 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 the, for this season, David Dixon, not uh, the first time we've seen the 45 car in the playoffs, but he's here again in uh, in seventh place currently, and uh, Cam Wright Jr. also not the first time we've ever seen him, despite not winning a race, he is currently the 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 fastest, or oh, I mean the um the highest. In the table, the point standings, the regular point standings without a win. And he's currently 8th in the standings. So, 
hopefully we can at least get that elusive win. This could definitely this could definitely improve his chances. Aditya Baggers, despite not winning a race, is currently in ninth place in the standings for RSIE. And yes, RSIE for the first time ever we've seen a driver advancing on to the playoffs. And Bradley Ream, also perhaps the first timer in the playoffs in 10th place. He had a really impressive run. He was like 4th place in the standings, in the regular point standings, coming up of this race. And Solomon Sheridan, the another driver who will be retiring at the end of the season. Another champion, of course. Quite sad to see another champion leaving. Solomon Sheridan, currently currently 11th. Because he's he's been like really low down in the standing, despite initially starting the season at a promising high. And Cambridge Senior, with a win, of course. He's also advancing onto the playoffs once again. And that brings us to the end of the drivers behind the cut line, the cutoff line. So that means we move, move, we move on to the, the, the bottom four drivers that are currently under threat of, of losing the playoffs. They could, they could end up losing the chances of staying in contention if if it's like round three for instance because we've got like three rounds of races including this one of course nashville so if any of the drivers in the bottom four or behind the cutoff line finish in those positions then these drivers will be elim eliminated so anyway, let's let's follow on. So Blake Parker with a win in 13th place. Dex Miyazaki had a surprising win back at uh, Bristol, I believe, with RSIE, the second RSIE car in the playoffs. Aris Uiko in 15th place. He also had a win and, of course, another rookie driver to participate in the playoffs. And Henry J. Brown. Quite uh, some bad luck for him to, to be in the the very bottom of the playoff standings. Of course, this is not the first time we've seen Henry G. Brown in Championship Contention, but let's hope and see how we can improve from there. So that is it. That is all of your drivers that will be advancing on to the playoffs. So only one of these drivers will be crowned champion of season 10. Right, let's move on to the race. So, as you can see, we're at Nashville, and yes, Nashville can be quite boring at times because, well, obviously, racing isn't usually that good. So, but I do hope we can see some interesting things happening here at Nashville because, unfortunately, of course, with the passing or that, it's very difficult to pass, especially up in the lead. So, I even, even. Even I tried my best to make it more different racing compared to the last time, but honestly, not much improvement, but I've done the best I can. But anyway, let's see how this race will bring for us as we start off with qualifying. Let's see who will qualify on pool for today's race. And it's going to be Flanger Wilson who will start on the pool. Henry J. Brown, impressive uh, front row start for him. That's exactly where he wants to be. To advance to the next round, Arishi Wiko, another championship contender in third place. Better watch out for the 51 car. David Scott in fourth place. Terry Lua in fifth place. Bradley Rim in sixth place. Jackie Daytoner in seventh place. Dex Mizaki, another championship contender. And Drew Walker, another championship contender in ninth place. And Roberto Crown Jr., another championship contender in tenth place. So we have three championship contenders starting with each other in 8th, 9th and 10th respectively and let's see who else where are the other contenders Owen Scott down into 16th place sort of an okayish starting position for Owen Scott and as we continue on Rain and Army in 21st place and Solomon Sheridan in 25th place And where everybody else? Cam Wright Jr. in 29th. He's got some work to do. And who else? Uh, 
Um, sorry, I'm a bit slow. Zachary VK, 34. David Dixon, 36. Nicholas Rice, 37. OMG. Blake Parker, Alejo. No, Alejo is out, unfortunately. Sorry, why do I say Alejo? And Bagus will start in those positions, respectively, as you can see in the standings. Alright, so let's move on and give me a moment. Okay, now let's get moving to the rice. Drivers are. The drivers, start your engines! And all, all cars, all cars are getting ready to make their move as the pace car starts to move. Apologies for the paint scheme situation. I don't know if it, if it, if it occurs at this track, but once again, I will keep an eye on it for for next time. I don't want to like reset the race or anything like that because it's just no point. Anyway, we have a really good race, hopefully in our hands, if not a surprising race, but who knows. Anyways, as we watch all the cars lining themselves up behind the pace car. As the pace car pulls in, and we're about to go racing here at Nashville. And let's see if perhaps Henry G. Brown can steal a win from Wilson, because ideally he wants to be able to be in a better spot than he is right now. But anyways, Flunder Wilson takes off into the lead. I need a better camera angle. Yep, there, I think that's better. Flander Wilson now getting away, trying to get away from Henry G. Brown and the others. Oh, and David Scott trying to overtake Aristi Wiko. Us. We see lots and lots of cars going through the, the start finish line for the first time this race without issue. Looks like Arish Uiko is falling back a little bit. He's now into fifth place, I think. Sixth place now. As Flandre Wilson continues to lead. Looks like Tari Luo is trying to get around Bradley Riem. Is it to any avail? Probably not. We've seen some interesting battles here. Three wide. Three wide, four wide, two wide even. Here at Nashville.
Looks like Henry G. Brown is kind of closing in on the 23 car, but is he going to make a rare overtake or something on the 23 car? Oh, forgot about Bradley Ream as well. Sorry, he's also a championship contender. And he is definitely in a very good position right now. He is now in a very good fourth place. And let me check all the other drivers that have not won a race, but have made it onto the playoffs. As I double check, there, there is certainly one more driver that I've probably missed out. And... I don't see I can remember well Cameron Jr. Baggers and Riam the only three drivers that have not won a race that have advanced to the playoffs and that concludes that completes our uh, field I guess so um complete all the driver that I just mentioned supposedly so but anyway as we continue to look at Flanger Wilson still leading Although, could this change, perhaps during a caution or anything like that? A caution is actually beneficial for any opportunity of changing positions and all that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Very close.
not much of, of a change as of yet, so... But let's hope that perhaps when the tires wear out and they run out of fuel, then a pistol cycle could change everything.
and looks like we have an interesting battle for the lead as Henry J. Brown gets closer to Flander Wilson in the 23 car. It looks like the Flander Wilson is starting to slow down a little bit, but will Henry J. Brown do anything about passing Flander Wilson despite the challenges at this very track? And, uh, well, that will depend on the, on the track itself as um, well as whether Flander Wilson can actually make a move or something that would give Hemorrhage Brown the opportunity of perhaps pathing her. And uh, as you can see as well, we are seeing some drivers as well, more drivers starting to overtake one another. Bex Miyazaki, a contender in 11th, in 11th place. Trying to get past Riley Hill, Riley Hill. Oh my, well, I was about to look at the back and apparently we have a retirement of the day. First retirement of the day is Natalie Faville. Apparently blowing an engine up or something. OMG. Well, that was almost perfect timing. Sadly though for, for Natalie Faville, she will not be finishing this race today in Nashville as she makes her way back, back into the pit without any further incident. Poor 99 car is out of the race. So, as we go back, as in fact, this is getting very interesting, in fact, most important to see towards the back because we are seeing lots and lots of championship contenders towards the back. There is Blake Parker, there's Nicholas Wright, David Dixon's right there, and OMG, last three drivers are at, at towards the back, towards the back. Camera Junior right there. Not in a very good position. Alita Baggers though in a seemingly good position. And who's next after Aditya Bagus? Solomon Sheridan. And there's Rain and Army over there, so. As we take a look, let's follow down the order currently in terms of everyone in the playoffs. So in first place currently in the playoffs, as of all the playoff drivers, Henry G. Brown. Second place, Bradley Rim. Third place, Aris Ueko. Fourth place, Roberto Crown Jr. almost forgot about him. Fifth place, Drew Walker. Sixth place, Dex Mizaki. Seventh place is currently Rain and Army. Ninth place, Solomon Sheridan. And that brings us to 
10th place in terms of everyone in the playoffs. And that is Aditya Bagus, 11th, Cameron Senior. And the 12th in the cutoff line, and in terms of all top 12 drivers in the cutoff line, as in before the cutoff line, sorry, I'm getting a bit mixed up and stuff like that. Camry Jr. Then in 13th. Well, is there a 13th spot? I forgot. Honestly, I got a bit mixed up, but. Anyway. Dixon, Parker, and Nicholas Wright. Anyways, as we go back towards the front. And an attempt of an overtake from Le Leland Hill Jr. or Folly Hill in the 85 car trying to overtake Roberto Crown Jr. A championship contender but to no avail. And we should expect to see a cycle of pit stops anytime soon around the lap 40s. So this could change the game at any moment. Yeah, nothing really is happening towards the back. Round of pit stops coming up with Bradley Rim, one of the first to be pitting. Oh, already we've seen some pit stops coming in. So, would this be a game changer? And the leaders come in. Arishi Rico stays out, I think. And Dex Mizaki. Well, we'll find out who has made such improvement later on. Brady Ream, has he pitted though? That is a big question. Has he? He has pitted, so he has beaten everyone else to the flag. That is an OMG moment.
Oh, and we, we've seen a battle already. Drew Walker versus Henry J. Brown. Already at the ties. Oh, close one between two BPE drivers. Drew Walker and Diva Scott. Watch out for those two. Don't let things happen between the two. Arish Juiko has pitted already, so he will not be leading. Bradley Rim will be leading. And he does. Flander Wilson is still in second place. So she does have a chance to try and get towards Foyer Car if she can try and go for the unlikely battle for the lead. As we do hope a pit stop can actually change anything. And just look at those battles. This is shaped up a little bit. Where is Nicholas Wright? Has he leaped up a little bit? He has leaped up a little bit. We'll keep an eye on the gap between Riam and Wilson, just in case if anything happens. Because it looks like it is decreasing for the past couple of laps, so maybe Flutter Wilson has the potential. But if she, when she does get closer, then We'll find out and see if she can be able to go for the battle at this tricky track at Nashville. And Henry Gibran is right there, not far, so don't count don't count him out completely just yet. Drew Walker also there, don't count him out just yet. I don't know I might have count I might have miscounted when I was just doing the, the stand the playoff standing lineup. Let's focus on the back for a little bit more, just in case if anything good happens. Cameron Senior trying to make a move on the 66 car. That, that is Xander Howe. Ooh. I think Senior might have gone a bit too early for the overtake and almost let loose. Just look at how splendid these battles are over there. Bag is also trying to make a name for himself in terms of trying to overtake, you know, and trying to advance on to the next stage. Because at the moment, Nix is right, is right behind him, so he needs to just pay attention and just perhaps not let him pass because he's a contender so and going back towards the front because the gap is decreasing between Wilson and Riam so this could be an opportunity it might take some time for Wilson to to learn the ropes around the strike and try and put it to good use to try and maybe do something with the leader of Ram. Ram is holding on as much as he can possibly can in that sole Ralph Fan Motorsports car. Ralph Fan Motorsports has won races here, in fact, with the likes of Meeks and who else? 
but Real Fan Motorsports has won at this track, so this could be another win of a team, of a team at Nashville, if Bradley Room can try and pull it off. But he needs to try and hold on to what we believe Wilson is faster than him, so Bradley Room is just trying to defend his position. And I think Henry G. Brown is at bay. He is gone a bit faster now. Bradley, Bradley Ram is starting to let loose a little bit. He is starting to show a bit of less pace now compared to the other two. These two are seemingly kind of rocketing themselves a little bit towards the leader now. Let's see how much longer can Bradley Ram be because I think this could be anybody's race, any of the freeze race, because Bradley Ream is really starting to literally go on defense mode down there as he tries to defend his lead from a hard charging, a fast charging Flander Wilson and potentially Henry J. Brown. If perhaps any of the two let loose, if if the two drivers let loose, Wilson and Ream, then perhaps Henry J. Brown can seize an opportunity. Of a of a pass to the leader, pass to the lead. I mean, but we still got some laps to go. About 16, 17 laps to go, and honestly, the battle is getting closer and closer and closer. Here comes Flander Wilson now, trying to make a move on Bradley Ream. Is it going to be it for Ream, and is it going to be? A lead pass for Wilson. They're going side by side. They're going side by side. Equal over the line they went. Equal over the line they went. 23 and 40 car of Ream. And it looks like Wilson has gone has gone up in front. But Ream is just right there. Ream is just right there. They are still holding on to it together. And Wilson takes the lead by only one unit of a second. And this could change even more. And looks like Henry G. Brown. Looks like we've got company here. Henry G. Brown trying to give Bradley Rim a push. Perhaps draft his way past the 23 car. And Henry G. Brown moves to Flander Wilson. OMG. And looks like maybe Henry G. Brown can Henry J. Brown can try and uh, and perhaps deal with the 23 car as well as the 40 car. And the Well, I was about to say 40 car and well, these cars, these top three cars have been continuing to switch from one place to another in terms of drafting and looks like now they're split up they were very close from well one driver Bradley Rim for instance and Henry de Brown they were switching from one drafting position to another taking turns to try and draft Flander Wilson and looks like we've got a potential pass for, the four, for fourth place that looks like Roberto Crown Jr. might try to make a move on Drew Walker and not yet, but very close though compared to uh, the cars up front. Wilson obviously getting away from everyone else. Whoops. It was freezing for a second, I was thinking. Could this be the end? 
Well, got all results saved for as of lap 64, just in case anything bad happens. So right now, Wilson is your leader once again as we go back towards the playoffs standings once again. So Blake Parker in 16th, 15th, David Dixon 14th, Camry Senior 13th is Nicholas Wright, 12th, Aditya Bagus, 11th. 11th, Camry Jr., 10th, Rain and Army, 9th, Solomon Sheridan, 8th, Eris Uiko, 7th, Dex Mizaki, 6th, Roberto Crown Jr., 5th, Drew Walker, 3rd, 2nd, who, who, I, I missed somebody out, sorry, so... Bradley Rim, Henry G. Brown, and I don't know who the other one is, so... Did I count out Orishu Eco? But anyway... So Wilson is your leader once again. We've got less than 10 laps to go. So let's take a look one last time towards the back in case anything interesting happens. We see David Dixon trying to get around Xander Howell. And it 
looks like Cameron Senior is gaining up a little bit. Oh, hey, teammates of Lee Motorsports, Trey Meeks and Cameron Senior. Zach Carrington, I think these two touched each other. Aaron Thiel and Zach Carrington. Close one. Anyway, last lap and Flanner Wilson looks like she's gonna be getting herself comfortable down there as she's about to take what I believe would be her fourth ever win in her career and just one last corner to go can Henry Brown get closer to Flander Wilson no he doesn't so Flander Wilson will take the checkered flag and as well as the pole and well that's it but Flander Wilson brings home the win at, at Nashville Henry J. Brown will finish an astonishing second place. He would love to take that second place spot. That will definitely be an improvement to his championship contention. Bradley Rim as well, looking in a very good spot. Fourth place, I mean third place for Bradley Rim. Drew Walker wants to get that second championship before he retires. Roberto Crown Jr. David Scott, Philly Hill, Dex Mizaki, Olivia Reynolds, and Raddy Hill all run up the top 10. And what a quiet race. What a quiet race, as usual. And the fastest lap time will go to 25 car. And I forgot who 25 car is. Aaron Thiel. So, congrats to Flander Wilson as we take a look at the rest of the standings properly. And obviously, our only retirement of the day of the race, Natalie Seville, having blown up an engine. So. Well, it's very quiet, but I don't know what to do with Nashville this could be Nashville's last race so but otherwise um, well speaking of which I am in the process I I am in like yeah I'm in the process I'm very close to try and release what I believe will be a draft calendar for next season in the discord chat so for those who are in the discord chat I will hopefully um, figure out a draft calendar very shortly and then well I don't know if I can release it publicly or privately to a number of you guys but otherwise what I'm gonna say is I'll be working on a calendar for season 11 at least the work the work for season 11 calendar will start now so Yep, anyways, let's get to work on that, so, and let's figure out which tracks are going, which tracks are staying, which tracks are, which tracks are, basically, any, any, any new tracks, uh, entering the calendar, who knows, anyway, enough of my complicated talk, so, let's make a move on, let's, let, let's just give it a rest, and let's, go from there so anyway thank you everyone for watching today's race it's been a quiet race unfortunately in nashville but still it is one one round of the championship done in the first of the playoff one race in the playoffs done the one round of the playoffs sorry i'm always getting mixed up when i speak but sorry i'm sure hopefully you would literally get at what i what i was talking about but anyway 
without further ado, thank you everyone, and hopefully I will see you all next time for the next race. And let me bring out what the next race is going to be. It is going to be at... Uh, at we're going to be returning to Daytona for a night race, which is also known as the Pepsi 400, or supposedly the Pepsi 400, so... But anyway, thank you everyone, and I will see you all back onto the track very, very, very soon. And somebody just sent a ping. I will check that out right now. Let's see what happened. I thought, yeah, I, I... Hang on, let me try and get onto the chat. Yeah, I did miss VK. <laughs> well... Yeah, I just got the message down there, so, uh, yeah, okay, VK in 34, anyway, sorry, <laughs> let's start over a little bit, because we want to, I want to actually do this, uh, standings properly, the playoff standings properly, so, in first place, in, f in the first of the playoffs, Henry G. Brown, uh, finishes ahead of everyone else in the playoffs. Bradley Rim in second place. Drew Walker, third place. Roberto Crown Jr., fourth place. So, four drivers in the playoffs have finished um, alongside each other in second to fifth. And fifth place, Dex Mizaki. And in sixth place is Aris Chiwiko. Seventh place. Goes to Owen Scott. I think I forgot Owen Scott at one point. So, 7th Owen Scott, 8th place, Solomon Sheridan, 9th place, Rain and Army, 10th place, Camry Jr. And uh, 11th place is Aditya Bagus. And 12th place is Nicholas Wright. And 13th is Zachary VK, 14th Cameron Senior, 15th David Dixon, and 16th is Blake Parker. So that's all the that that's 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 all the results for in order of everyone in the playoffs. So anyway, so let's just let's just finish the the broadcast, the streaming or the recording properly so once again thank you everyone and hope I'll see you all next time for another race at Daytona Pepsi 400 take care everyone I'll see you all back on the track very 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 soon